So my name is Carly Smith. I'm a nutritional therapy practitioner and certified GAPS practitioner. I work with people one-on-one -on -one to help them restore their health, um, mainly using food as medicine and an emphasis on gut health. I became interested in health and nutrition after a few years ago being diagnosed with Lyme disease and I just used food as medicine to heal. I went the whole initially antibiotics route and I honestly felt like I was hit a point where I was taking antibiotics for my antibiotics and that they were doing more harm on my body than good. So I went off all my medication and I just started doing my own research which is when I stumbled upon something called the GAPS diet which stands for gut and psychology syndrome. And the idea is really that if we can heal our gut, we can help boost our immune system and help fight off whatever it is that we have going on. And I really just became so empowered with the healing and the progress in my health just after a first few weeks on the GAPS diet that I just um, changed my careers and went back to school and became a nutritional therapist so that I can spread this information and help other people heal. So Lyme for me um, affected me a little bit differently than it normally affects people. It really settled in my endocrine system and affected my hormones. And I ended up um, bleeding for like four months straight and not knowing what was going on. I went from doctor to doctor. Um, they put me on different birth control pills and eventually just told me to go lay in bed with my feet up and no one had really had any other um, options for me um, and eventually I developed a, from the constant bleeding I developed a bacterial infection in my uterus and I went on a really heavy dose of antibiotics and that's when um, I had a really terrible reaction to the antibiotics and the doctor said it was an allergic reaction but a friend of mine mentioned that it sounded like a Herx reaction which is a die-off that's very common in taking antibiotics with Lyme disease. Uh, my symptoms were like the, the flu-like symptoms, um, nausea, fever, headache, body aches. And so they said, suggested that I should get tested for Lyme disease. I was, at that point, I was losing all cognitive function. I forgot where I lived, driving home from work. Um, my body ached, I could barely get out of bed. So I went and got tested for Lyme disease and it turned out that I was positive. So I initially started out with antibiotics and I felt like they helped me initially, maybe for the first you know month or so. Um, but then I felt like they were doing more harm on my body, body than good. Some of the antibiotics I was taking wasn't even for Lyme disease anymore. My whole back broke out in these like tiny little bumps and I was like, what this is this? She's like, oh, I don't know. I'm like, no, this is something from one of these medications. Like, I don't know what it is, but I never had this before. I was taking a medication for my bumps and then my stomach like had swollen from all the antibiotics, but I, she didn't think, you know, do the two and two with gut health. Um, and I didn't really know at that time. So I was just like, why is my stomach so swollen? So then I had to go on a stomach medication for my stomach being so swollen. It's like, I'm not even taking Lyme medications anymore. Like, and now I'm just taking more medications for other things that the other medications, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's like antibiotics for your antibiotics and it's a spiral effect. And so, um, I went off all my medication and just started doing research and that's when I found out about gut health and that 80% of the immune system is located in the gut. And so I believe it's something like 90% of diseases now can be traced back to the gut. And I started reading more about how to heal your gut and there's kind of like a two-part process. Um, it's healing and sealing the gut lining and then repopulating the gut with the beneficial bacteria. So the GAPS protocol is all about um, eliminating foods that are going to you know, harm your body, any processed foods, um, and really incorporating more nourishing foods that are going to heal your gut like bone broth, um, fermented foods, um, you know, collagen, um, real whole fats, things like that that are going to be very nourishing to your body. And I went on the GAP site for about two years, um, but initially noticed progress in my healing within just a few weeks of being on it. The first thing that came back for me was my cognitive function and then um, progress into gut health and and eventually you know no more Lyme symptoms. So I definitely received some pushback from my doctor. Um, I brought up 
colostrum, if I should, in, in one of my meetings with my uh, doc, Lyme literate doctor. Colostrum is just, um, it's the, the milk from, uh, well at least what I took was the, the milk from, in a powdered form of a mother cow. It's when the baby's first born, they produce a colostrum which has a lot of, um, you know, gut healing nutrients in it. And so the idea is really that it's going to help replenish the gut and populate it with the beneficial bacteria and heal and seal that gut lining. Um, so I did experience um, some benefits initially from it. Um, I believe that my gut needed a little bit more healing um, in addition to that. So I don't think it's 100% the full effect, but I think it's awesome as a supplement. She, you, actually made fun of me and said that well, you're not a baby cow so you don't need colostrum and I left there just feeling so disappointed and I felt insecure and, and bad about myself um, and you know wasn't I don't think she really was very um, supportive of al an alternative way of healing so I think she was um, supportive of the of the of nutrition but it was more in a way that conventional doctors view nutrition and not necessarily on the gut health side. I know a lot of people that have done the GAPS diet, um, people with Lyme disease or autoimmune conditions, um, but also the research behind gut health and supporting the fact that 80% of the immune system is in the gut um, and roughly 90% of diseases are traced back to the gut. Um, a lot of autoimmune neurological issues. Um, so I was just really um, interested in the fact that you know if I could possibly heal my gut and boost my immune system that I might be able to fight off Lyme. The GAP site's not not very complicated. I think it's the hardest part for people is um, getting used to you know, it's, it's an elimination diet and then you reintroduce at stages. So I think it's the hard part is the restrictive phases in the very, uh, very beginning. Um, but then eventually you start reintroducing foods. The protocol essentially is, um, you know, a lot of bone broths, um, foods that are going to be healing and sealing to the gut lining, number one. Um, so if you have the, a permeable barrier in your gut lining, you'll have toxins that are leaking into your system and um, causing autoimmune attacks and, and various other issues um, and then as well as making sure that you have that really good balance of the bacteria in your gut so making sure that um, you you know will oftentimes get an overgrowth of bad bacteria especially from stress that's the number one biggest cause um, and then you know controlling that bacteria so um, you, and you just do that through some various supplements and um, changes in your diet so I think bone broth is the most important part of the GAPS diet. Um, bone broth is really just, you know, as what it is, it's extracted from bones of different animals, um, primarily the connective tissue bones like your knuckle bones, your marrow bones. Um, you can also use whole chicken carcasses, turkey carcass, duck, um, you know, their chicken feet, lots of different things that you can put in a bone broth. But essentially it's just extracting the nutrients from those bones um, that's really going to help rebuild the gut lining. So co collagen is um, you know, one of the most abundant proteins in the body. So that's one of the things that you're extracting from that that's going to help rebuild the gut lining. As well as L-glutamine, um, you know, other uh, vitamins and minerals, um, things that are really supportive to optimal gut health. And it's not just gut health, the same is true for it's going to help your um, arthritis, your bones and your joints, um, your skin, your hair, you know, uh, it, it helps with digestion, hydration, so it, bone broth has countless health benefits. Um, but that's one of the main things from the GAPS diet that's going to help gut health primarily. But, you know, even after GAPS, it should be something that um, really should be incorporated into all of our diets. And it's not a new concept. I mean, bone broth has been around for, you know, ever really. So it's one of those things that uh, we should be, you know, we've just lost track of it and we should be reintroducing and making sure that we have um, all the time. And fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, are they're full of probiotics, which are the beneficial bacteria that line your gut. So incorporating ferments into your diet is really important. Um, you can also do cultured dairy or homemade dairy, the same thing. You're getting that um, really good probiotic content is what you want to look for. 
it's important for me to just get the message across to people that there are alternative therapies out there for healing and that um, for me I felt very alone when I was battling Lyme disease that there you know weren't any other options out there and I feel like a lot of people resonate with that is that you know we get sick we go to the doctor and you just do what the doctor says but what happens when what the doctor says doesn't always make you better um, so I, when I started learning more about alternative therapies and integrative medicine um, and uh, you know researching more of a holistic approach I was surprised to see how much is actually out there how many alternative therapies there really are out there um, that are really helpful